Hey guys, this is the hike to Mount Baden Powell. Um, it's about eight miles, about 27, 2800 feet of climbing, and it's tough. It's in the mountains, and you basically go straight up, a bunch of switchbacks, uh, but you're rewarded by uh, getting to the peak here, which is pretty awesome. You can see there's great prominence. You have 360 views. That's the Mojave over there. There's the, the Baden Powell Memorial Trail Register over here. You have Mount Wilson in the distance. Then a nice marine layer over Los Angeles and uh, the rest of Baldy and Angeles National Forest over there. And here's the marker to prove I'm actually here and this is not a fake moon landing. Anyway, if you want to do the hike, uh, go to hikingguy.com. I have all the directions there. I have maps. I have turn-by-turn -turn visuals. I have whatever. Whatever you need to do the hike is there. So hikingguy.com. Uh, but otherwise have fun and if I can recommend something go as early as possible. This is the first time I've ever been here and I've had the summit to myself. Uh, I left at sunrise and it is Memorial Day so it's a busy weekend so it is possible to do it by yourself. If you go later it gets pretty crowded and kooky up here. Um, but uh, whatever you do it's a, it's a fun hike so here are the turn by turn directions and just uh, go to hikingguy.com for everything else. So the trailhead's at the end of the parking lot. The parking lot's pretty big. It has bathrooms, but it does fill up on popular days, and you do need a permit, so go to hikingguy.com for the info. Now at the trailhead, there's actually two trailheads. You're going to bear to the right and start heading up. There's a nice little Pacific Crest Trail sign right here, too, that you can get a selfie with. But otherwise, just keep heading up, and you're going to head sort of on these switchbacks that the hike is famous for. Um, the nice thing about this hike is that it's it's pretty shaded until you get to the very end uh, and it definitely feels very alpine so enjoy it take your time pretty soon you're going to get nice views and there's a couple benches on the way up as well where you can just stop and have a snack and catch your breath no shame in that and after a little while the views will open up to the north and east and again just keep going up here's a trail junction for Lemel springs so if you go to the left, you can go to the spring and fill up with water, but otherwise keep right and start heading up towards the summit. This is the Pacific Crest Trail too, so you're gonna have uh, some through hikers here heading to Canada and using the spring. Now one thing to watch out for is the switchbacks. It's easy sometimes to keep going straight and miss the switchback, but generally you'll see like they had there, the switchback is marked with um, rocks or branches to help you sort of make the turn. Towards the top the views will really open up and here you can see into the Mojave, see north into the very different landscape there. Now eventually the switchbacks will end and you will get to the um, ridge here and the, the saddle that goes across um, now, when you come here, you're going to get awesome views for the first time over to Baldy, to the left here. It's more of a ridge than a saddle, I guess, but there's Baldy in the distance, and this is really where the hike pays off, where the views are incredible. So you're going to continue along this ridge, and you're going to come to the last, uh, last junction here, which is the junction for the Pacific Crest Trail. You're going to go straight to the summit, but if you're hiking to Canada, you're going to make the right here, but don't do that. Just keep going straight. Now this old tree, this old limber pine on the left, is the Wally Waldron tree. It is 1,500 years old. Uh, it's a great place to go uh, sit down, take a selfie, get nice views. There's a little interpretive sign as well. After you check out the tree, do the last push to the summit, and you will see the Baden-Powell um, memorial come into sight which is that big stone structure there and here's the trail register where you can sign in and you know see what other people have done but otherwise keep going up for the last little stretch here and you'll be at the summit which is up there in the distance and the summit um, usually has an american flag it's not always here i don't know what happens maybe people steal it but there's the summit there's baldy in the distance and this is the classic instagram spot that you will often see but you're going to have great prominence here. You're going to see Baldy, Mount Wilson, 
and uh, the peaks to the, I guess, to the, the east and the Mojave to the north and east. So that's the hike. So it's pretty simple. You just head straight up the trail and you get to the peak. Now, again, if you want maps and turn by turns and more information on the hike, just go to hikingguy.com. You can search for the hike name. I have it there. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, if you could do me a huge favor and click on the little thumbs up button beneath the uh, video, that'll help other people find the video and hopefully do the hike safely. Just a simple way to kind of give back a little bit. So, being pal, that's the hike and uh, enjoy it. And I'll see you out on the trails.